Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free WP Mail SMTP plugin. This plugin will fix the problems that you are facing with sending email from your WordPress website. In many cases, you may have set up automation on your WordPress website to send email to the end user and your end user may not be getting your emails or maybe they are getting emails in their spam folders. In that case, you can set up the SMTP plugin on your WordPress website and fix this issue so that you will be able to send the email from your WordPress website. So the name of the plugin is WP Mail SMTP. This is a free version of the plugin and you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 3 million WordPress website. It says, is your WordPress site not sending emails? Our goal is to make email deliverability easy so that your emails always reach the inbox. You can integrate your WordPress email with different SMTP mailers. For example, sendlayer, smtp.com, mailgun, sendgrid, or you can also set up Gmail, or you can set up your own hosting service providers, SMTP. So in this video, we are going to use the other SMTP option, and we are going to install this plugin and fix the issue. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Go to search box and search for WP Mail SMTP. This is the free version of the plugin. I also have the pro version of the plugin. I'll show you what is the difference between the free and the pro plugin. So let's first install the free plugin. Activate it. Refresh it. All right, so you will see a setup wizard. Let's go back to dashboard, skip the setup wizard, and you will see an option in the left hand panel WP Mail SMTP. These are the settings. These are the basic settings. Here you will see license key that is for the pro plugin. And this is the primary connection. If you want to run the setup wizard, you can run the setup wizard from here. From email, this shows the default email address of your WordPress website and this is from name this will be the name of your website or your business here it says force from name you can turn it on so whenever you send an email from your wordpress website it will show that name on each email in many cases you may have multiple contact forms set up on your wordpress website and in those forms you may have set up the from name different and if you enable this option it will override all the form settings and it will always show this from name on each email that you send from your wordpress website all right if you do not want that you can simply disable this option if you scroll down you will see different mailers by default the wordpress is set to php mailer and when you send using the php mailer in most of the cases the email will go to the spam folder of your end user so that's why we are going to use the smtp server here you will see a list of servers that you can use send layer smtp outlook is also there zoho mail google is also there to enable google you need to create an api key for example if i select here you will need to create an app in google console and from there you need to get the client id secret id and the authorized redirect url all these settings will be found in the app that you're going to create or if you have pro plugin then there is an option to one click setup it provides a quick and easy way to connect google that doesn't require creating your own app so that is only for the pro version in this video we are going to work on other smtp that is from your hosting service providers smtp server now this particular website is hosted on host getter and i'm going to use the smtp settings from the host getter so when you select other smtp you will see these options are required smtp host then smtp username and smtp password the username and password is nothing but your email address and password for that email address now let me go to the cpanel if you are using hosting service provider with the cpanel this is how it will look you will find different settings on different hosting services however the process will remain same you just need the host name username and password so here i'll go to email accounts you will see email accounts option there and i'm going to create a new one so let's click on create a new one i'm going to select the domain and i'm going to name it as let's say report at paramfreelance.com and i'm going to add a password here so we have entered the password click on create so here we have created a new email now we need to check the settings so you will see an option here connect devices and there you will see the settings of this particular email 
in many hosting service provider the host name will be mail.yourdomain.com for example in this case we have mail.permfreelance.com and this is for the incoming and this is for the outgoing if you go for other hosting service provider in many cases you will see the same host is there mail.yourdomain.com so i'm going to use this one here smtp host then select ssl so when you select ssl you will see the smtp port automatically change to 465 let's go back you will see it here smtp port is 465 all right so this is the only thing that we need the host name after that we can enter the username and password here so i'm going to use the same username and password all right now click on save settings all right it says settings were successfully saved now we need to test whether it works or not so here you will see an option tools click on tools and when you go to tools you will see the option email test send a test email so i'm going to add my email address and we are going to test it so let's add the email address here and click on send email so let's log into the gmail and let's see if we have already received the email you will see it here this is the from name and this is the email that shows from email and it says congrats test email was sent successfully and it is not in the spam folder it is in the inbox all right let's go back again and let me show you the from settings let's go to settings here and you will see that the from email is this one and the from name is this one so you will see it here this is the from name and this is the from email even though we have set up a different email account you will see it here the smtp user is different even though we have set up a different email address for the smtp username it will always show this email here because we have enabled force from email all right so it is working successfully if you have different hosting service provider you can simply go to the email account settings and definitely you will find the host name there as i said most probably the host name will be mail.yourdomain.com i do have the pro version of this plugin so i'm going to install the pro version here let's go to plugins and click on add new go to upload plugin let me select the pro version install it activate it all right it is enabled let's go to wp mail smtp and all these options here you see are part of pro version so if you want to set up gmail i do uh, here you can see gmail and you will see this option is enabled i can enable this option and i can set up gmail as smtp server with one click and these options are also available now because we have installed the pro version of the plugin and in the free version these options were disabled zoho mail 365 outlook aws but in the pro version you will find these options if i go to email log you will be able to set up email log you can enable this option and keep a record of basic details for all emails sent from your site let's go to alerts you can also enable alerts and you will see additional connections here with additional connections you can set up a backup connection use mailer for different purposes create advanced routing rules smart routing option is also available in the pro version uh, email control is also available all right so all these options are available in the pro version so if you are having problems sending email from your wordpress website you can install this free wp smtp plugin on your wordpress website so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips